Hello, welcome to Air Rifle Pessy. Glad you can join me today. So when I got there earlier that night at about six o'clock, the rats already out in full force. So I haven't been back here for almost two months now, and the population has jumped. As you can see, lots of rats out already. This is at the uh, what I call the hot spot number one. This guy, first guy here, at 22 yards. And I crash it on him, and I sent a Hades downrange and hit him right in the head. So that was rat number one. So the farmer has texted me a couple of days ago and told me that there are plenty of rats in the area. So he's asked me to uh, drop by and uh, give them hell. The second rat was about 30 yards. It bounced around a lot. Um, apparently this guy looks like he was hit in the lung. As you can see, it was soon expired. I didn't even have to do a second shot. And it expired. So I went to hotspot number two. This is under the feeder area, but the concrete. This guy's 10 yards away. I have to do a hold over a four mil dot. And hit him square in the head. Looks like a pretty violent impact to the head. Yeah, it has no chance. So another close range one. This guy's also at 10 yards. Here I have to uh, make sure I miss the bucket. And I tapped him right in the head. So that was a good shot. This is inside one of the empty um, housing where they, where they store like baby cow. That was rat number five. This is hot spot number three. As you can see, there are tons of rats here. It's amazing how fast they grow and how much they multiplied. So I spotted this guy about 18 yards or 19 yards away. And he was rat number six, went right through his head and through his body. This guy made a mistake of staying put, and I shot him on the side of the body. He soon expired. That was rat number seven. Spotted this guy is about um, 34 yards away. Unfortunately, my air tank has a bit of a leak, so I'm losing power as we as this shot went a little bit slightly low, so I missed it. This is hot spot number two. Saw this guy at 25 yards. Unfortunately, as I squeeze off the shot, it might have moved and I missed to the right. Lucky rat. So a couple of rats here at about 25 yards. That was rat number eight. I thought I missed, but you can see it was struggling and it soon expired as well. So these Hades are definitely devastating to them. They don't stand a chance. So Curiosity got this one killed. He came out and looked at his buddy and Hades to the head. It was down. That was rat number nine. Back at hot spot number one, another uh, rats underneath the concrete barrier here. 10 yards, did my hold over, dropped him. Second rats ran away. It didn't stop, so I didn't get a chance. Luckily, another rat popped up at about 14 yards. Now I'm just waiting for his head to pop up to give me a better shot. So I'm waiting patiently for it to give me a good shooting profile. Definitely lots of movement with these rats. So you just have to be patient and wait for the right timing. That was rat number 11, straight to the head. It was definitely a busy area this night. Another rat showed up at about 15 yards. Again, I waited for him to turn and give me a better profile. 
Here I went for the head and if I miss I would hit the uh, spine so that's a better shot profile. So that was rat number 12. Down it goes. Spotted got one guy here at about 30 yards. Again, hit him in the face and it crawled back into the hole. I couldn't retrieve the body. This one right here out at 32 yards. Need to cock my gun. Waiting for it to turn, and right there. That was rat number 14. Again, it, it crawled back into the hole and died. Found one at 15 yards. This guy only gave me the head profile, but I was able to tap it right in the head. You can see the blood was oozing out of the head. So that was the perfect place uh, shot placement. The movement here you see is just muscle spasm. They're already dead. So another one here underneath the concrete. So I quickly put it down. That was rat number 16. I went inside the barn and uh, saw some starling roosting here. Not many, only probably 10 or 20 of them. So again, this shot I missed because my air tank was leaking and I was losing power. So you can see the shot went low and to the left. So another starling here, same thing. The shot went low and missed. So definitely have to fix my HW100. I saw this guy at 15 yards, much closer shot. So I purposely aim higher than my original aiming point and I hit him right in the body. So that was starling number two. I spotted this guy on the other side of the barn and uh, I did the same thing, hold over slightly higher than usual and tapped him right in the chest area. So back out on hotspot number two, there's a big rat here. It's at 23 yards. I already just topped up my tank. No problem. Drop him right there and uh, he died violently. Yeah, and it soon collapsed. So I was trying my longer shot here at 45 yards. Did my hold over and hit him on the upper back. It's not gonna survive with the Hades. Again, it went up back in the hole. I couldn't retrieve the body. So I was spotted one at 40 yards. As you can see, I just missed low. So that was one lucky uh, rat. Back at hot spot number three. After a while, they come back out again. You can see there's so many and this guy was lucky because I took too long. Otherwise the Hades would have shot him in the face. So I went to the second guy here. He had a back profile. I was waiting for it to turn around to show the head, but it didn't. So I decided to just go ahead and hit him in the back as my. So the back shot is just as effective to the spine and it died in the hole. Now all the rest of the rats just scramble and try to run away. This guy's about 30 yards. I think I just missed low, I'm not sure. And then I want it at the 34 yards. So hold a little bit higher. And I hit him the, just below the, the chin. So that was rat number 20. This guy was sticking his head out at about 18 yards. Did my hold over and tapped him right in the head. So another perfect uh, headshot. That was rat number 21. There's one here at 22 yards. As you can see here, my point of impact was really low. That's uh, due to my losing my air. So 
Since my A7100 was leaking air badly, so I used my Rego XO as a backup gun. This was the first time I, I shot uh, the rats with this gun. I had the Power 007S on top as a scope. So there's no um, laser range finder with the scope, so I had to guess my range. Luckily, I uh, got it. As you can see, that was Rego's first rat kill. I did a follow up shot just to make sure, more like checking my point of impact. So this area is probably about 30 yards away, right by the feeder there. Um, I saw a couple of rats moving around. My Riga has a 30 yard zero, so I would just have my crosshair square. There's a guy that came out, here's one, right in the head. That was rat number 23. So every rat scrambled and ran away. It was down and out. So far Rigo is doing good. So uh, I decided to go for a longer range, 50 yards roughly. I went for a body shot and I hit it. That was rat number 24. Another rat peeked out the hole. I'm guessing this is about 48 yards away. And it was down. That was with a headshot. That was rat number 25. Perfect shot. This guy's probably about 15 yards, I'm guessing. And I dropped him right on the spot. That was rat number 26. The Riga was deadly accurate, that's for sure. Too bad it only has a 10 shot magazine, otherwise uh, this would be a perfect rat gun. Another one showed up at top spot number one, right beside the dead one that I shot earlier. Actually a few of them showed up. As you can see here, one of the male was in heat, tried to get fresh. You can see the, the female was kicking it away, down the back off. And I shot the female, I should have gone for the male. That would have been cool. That was rat number 27. This guy is out about 48 yards away. I'm trusting my Rigo to hit the mark, and it did. That was rat number 28. That was a great night of shooting with my HW100 and Daystate Rigo XL. Thanks for watching. Hope I see you in the next one. Cheers.